Hey, what's going on, guys? The Vessel bringing you guys a deck profile, my gold powder and liberator deck. So, I'm a little sick. Uh, give me some time here. Alright, so I'm just gonna run through it real nice and fast. Starter I use is um, Yearning Liberator Arm. He's the um, starting vanguard. His ability uh, you put into the soul, and he uh, searches the deck for a Blast of Blade Liberator, and you put him at the top of the deck. Good for comboing on making liberators not guessful anymore. I mean, I, you, you take away the liberators out of uh, the Vanguard game. All right. You take away the guessing game out of liberators is what I meant to say, sorry. All right, so let's get the trigger lineup. Trigger lineup is uh, pretty much what I'm gonna use in any liberator deck. All right, you got your four draw, you got your four heal, and your eight crit. That's what I'm gonna use in every, almost every, Liberator deck I ever make. Um, yeah, there's not really much to change about it. Um, stand triggers don't really work too well because, uh, let's see, Zenith, he'll, he'll call unit standing. So use like the swing with a rear guard, and yeah, well, we'll get to that later. Uh, pretty pretty standard. It's always it's pretty good. Uh, I don't really see any reason to stay, play stands. Alright, so the grade of one lineup is the main problem of the deck. Um, I didn't really know what to do. Um, either play standard or have fun with it. So I went with fun. So um, leave a comment below if you uh, have any suggestions for my grade ones. But I'll show it now. Two perfect guards, two quintal walls. Everybody says don't play Quintal Walls with Alfred. I say um, five cards off the top of the deck. That's what I say. Quintal Walls are the funnest part of Vanguard uh, for me, uh, besides Aqua Force, because I love Aqua Force. But Quintal Walls really changed the game. Uh, it, um, it's one card out of hand and one counter blast. I mean, what's well? I, and I call top five cards. I mean, I, come on. Uh, I understand. You gotta save your counter blast for Zenith or Garmore, or potentially if you want to use Blast Blade, but I, I enjoy it. It's pretty fun. Um, next, I play Flying Sword Liberator Gorus. Alright, he's the Tekken. Um, his ability is you put one ga ah, Gancelot from your drop zone to the bottom of the deck to give another Gancelot 5k. He was a tough choice to see if I wanted to put him in the deck, but. Uh, he really does tuck in nice when I um, drop against a lot and uh, combo him with the next card, which is Sharp Point Liberator Gold Lancer. Um, usually, I like to ca combo him with Glorious. All right, I uh, drop against a lot. Probably, meh. usually, if I have two Zeniths in hand, I drop a, a Zenith, get a Break Rod, and then um, uh, hit hit with uh, Glorious, put him back in the deck, uh, pretty much I didn't really lose anything. And uh, if he's on the field, I mean, I gave him power. Well, if he's definitely going to be on the field, so uh, I mean, I gave him power, so I don't, I don't really see a minus. I was thinking about um, bumping up the number of other cards in the deck, but oh, I decided to have fun, so. Uh, next, I play White Rainbow Liberator Balan. He's the damage flipper for Blaster Blade Liberator. Um, it was a tough choice if I wanted to play him with four. Four is kind of a recommended number because damage on flipping is really good in gold paladins. Because before we had this guy, and once you used your three counter blasts, you hoped on a heal trigger, and that was never the case. So, um, to restate his ability, um, when a blast of blade liberator is placed on a rear guard, unflip one damage, and not like, um, Dorrance, you can play Blast of Blade anywhere and unflip one. Next, you got your, last but not least, your three Bruno. He gets 3k for every time a card superior called. Uh, he's pretty good with Zenith and uh, Alfred. Combo's pretty good with them. He gets pretty, makes a uh, boost up your columns. Never want to put him behind Vanguard. Let's keep that in mind. You never want to put him behind Vanguard. Um... All right, grade twos. Grade twos wasn't too tricky. Uh, you got your three liberator start rain trumpeter. Um, he, she, sorry, 
return to blast the blade back blast the blade liberty liberator back to the deck to superior call one so generally she makes your blasted blades 5k shields again because usually you don't want to guard with a blasted blade but now guard with a blasted blade put it back into the deck take it out the soul or drop zone put the top of the deck shuffle the deck top deck something um just keep in mind that uh if you ride blasted blade that's one less soul if you use her ability and uh for alfred and if you use star rain trumpeter's ability make sure you have an open rear guard just keep that in mind so let's bring you well i'll save them for last um the next four cards i run are the 12k attackers Lib liberator of royalty fallon um pretty self-explanatory there 12k attackers hit great numbers behind uh bruno um you hit 19 superior call something you're hitting 21 22 my mistake uh you always hit good numbers uh you're not gonna be hitting cross rat numbers with fallon no, that's the only thing you will be i mean you will be hitting 22 uh that's still a what 10k shield yeah 10k shield um boost up your bruno's a little bit more and you know you could be getting more cards out of hand that's what i usually like to have a roll of them and last but not least for blaster blade liberator uh he's pretty much the uh i want to see the beef the beef in the sandwich yeah yeah um his ability uh if you don't know if you have a liberator vanguard counter blast two placed on vanguard or rare guard and you gotta kill one of your great opponents rare guards in the front row i'm thinking old blaster blade my mistake um yeah he's pretty good with uh Balan, well, like I said, he's the uh, meat of the deck. You want to always get him in your drop zone if you want. Yeah, he's the riot target. You, you want to do anything with him because you'll be able to put him back in the deck, top deck, deck him. All right, so grade three lineup <laughs> brings us to the grade three lineup, by the way. Um, uh, tough choice on grade threes, but I decided what I wanted to do. Grade threes, I played two Gantz a lot, regular Gantz a lot. People hate Gansla and Alfred in the same deck. Um, I personally enjoy it because um, I enjoy the break ride. Break ride's fun. Um, then cross riding with Zenith. You don't have to play your Alfred's early game. I mean, and it's a uh, Gansla. I mean, come on. How you can you hate Gansla? He's there since uh, trial deck one. Um, uh, his ability, if you don't know. When you ride a grade three go paladin over him, he get, the new vanguard gets 10k and choose three euro guards and it gets they get 5k each and 2k when you attack a vanguard. Uh, next grade three, I play three zenith. Zenith is cross ride to regular Gantzlot. Um He is a good start game or game finisher. Um, yeah, you got your, your, your Alfred, and I'll, I'll get to him in a second, but, uh, you generally getting that four attacks and the beefed up rows with, for the, from the four attacks, that's always good to have with, uh, Gantzlot, so, I want to play him at three, and, uh, playing five Gantzlots, by the way, for the two tech, the four attacking cards, so his ability, if you guys don't know, uh, counter blast one, choose one of your grade two or lower, Liberators and put it at the bottom of the deck then top deck something and that unit gets 10k and Cross ride for gets love And now for the well this I guess the side ace of the deck um three Alfred Monarch Sanctuary Alfred <sighs> All right, and uh, one's from my box opening and the other two I bought um His ability is well Ultimate break five, if you call a blast of blade from the deck, then you get 10k in a crit. That doesn't have to happen from his ability, so if you top deck a blast of blade, it will automatically get 10k if you have five damage. Uh, limit break ability, counter blast three, so blast two. Put all your rare guards at the top of the deck. Check the top five, well check up to the top five cards and place as many liberators as you find in the top deck. So. And his last ability, well, second last ability, is he gets 1,000 for each rare card. 
So he is a good card. Um, you could set off a lot of abilities with uh, Alfred, and uh, he's he's a pretty good card. I'm not gonna lie, he's a pretty good card. He does make my opponent drop perfect guard, plenty of cards, especially if I call two blaster blades. Um, but uh, essentially, he's he's there just to cause that main pressure to make my opponent uh, drop a blaster, I, a perfect guard. And if I hit a, a blast of blade, you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be helpful. All right, it's definitely gonna be helpful. Um, truthfully, the deck runs pretty fun. Um, I enjoy the fact of uh, top decking. It's really I've enjoyed Gold Talon since uh, Trial Deck Six. Um, then we got Liberated. Um, the deck runs as I said. The deck runs pretty fun. The only changes I would make was probably the great ones, uh, but other than that, uh, it's, you know, it runs. Yeah, it's just trying to find the words here. Um, changes I would make to the deck: grade ones, I already said. Grade threes. I'm thinking about changing out this bad boy because I want uh, some legion in my life. So come November, it may get changed for a legion card. So, um, pretty much. That's pretty much it for the video. Uh, hope you uh, like what, what you see. Um, and catch it in a couple games on our channel. I think there's one game up uh, currently. You can go check it out on our channel. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, check out. Uh, comment down below if you uh, want to make any, well, have any suggestions for the deck and uh, tell me what you want to do. I'm going to go take a ad and get some sleep. So I'll catch you guys later.